Welcome to the TV Spotlight. This week, we take you to a book launch. General J.J. Singh was the first ever Sikh to be appointed Chief of Indian Army. A military career spanning over 40 years, General Singh retired from the Indian Army in 2007. He's currently the governor of Arunachal Pradesh and recently came to the U.S. to launch his autobiography, A Soldier's General. As I hung my spurs on 30th of September, 2007, <clears throat> I heard an inner voice that urged me to write about my experiences and chart the course of my life with its ups and downs. Family and friends, including some from the media, soon started asking me when or if I was coming out with my book. Thus, about five years ago, I decided to pen my thoughts before my memory started to fade and the whole exercise would become futile. This account in the book is a straightforward, direct talking, soldierly and simple language which expresses what I have been through. In this military career of almost 47 years, because I start from the NDA, which was 1961, and I retired uh, in 2007. I don't use the word retire, because I believe no one should retire. You start a second innings, and like in a game of soccer or in cricket, the second innings could be more interesting than the first, God knows. So I take it that it is my second innings, and I think I'll put in my best, and rest depends on whatever is destined. I believe in destiny. The warrior in my psyche has a lot to do with the Sikh history, tradition, and culture. In one of my fantasies, I see myself as a Sikh warrior of yore on a mission to wreak havoc amongst the savage and the cruel invaders who came frequently from the northwest frontiers of Hindustan and whose primary objectives were conquest, pillage, abduction, rape, and plunder. Our band of warriors has pledged to fight for the defense of the dharma and our lands and save our countrymen from slavery and tyranny of the conquering forces. With revenge on our faces, we would swoop down on the camps or caravans of the returning alien forces and play merry hell with them. Now, lest I give away too much of the book, I would like to conclude my remarks by turning again to the great Mark Twain and his assessment of General Grant's autobiography, the so-called personal memoirs. I quote Twain, clarity of statement, directness, simplicity, manifest truthfulness, fairness, and justice toward friend and foe alike, and avoidance of flowery speech." End quote. General Singh's A Soldier's General shares these same merits. With these words, stretching across the globe and back through time, I invite the American public to read A Soldier's General now upon its U.S. release. Thank you.